My name is Duran Oldham. I am the owner uh, and CEO of National Income Life in upstate New York. I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. My single mom that raised me and my brother, she was often working multiple jobs. You know, we didn't see her a whole lot and we didn't have uh, a whole lot of money. You know, it, was, it was tough, we lived in projects. Uh, we got evicted for multiple housing units that we were in, apartments. Um, I went to a bunch of different schools growing up and uh, you know, it was just kind of, a, you know, kind of a tough situation. Primarily just for a job, um, as soon as I turned 18, I went into the Air Force and I uh, was going to be a dog handler, military dog handler. So I thought that would be a really cool job. Uh, then what happened, uh, a really cool thing, I went to a leadership school and uh, I met a gentleman there and he was a survival instructor is what he said. He goes, no, no, really, what we do is we teach pilots how to survive and evade if they get shot down and we live in the woods and we're, I'm like, well, what? I looked into it and it was a real thing and there were, uh, but it was unbelievably competitive to get into. There was only 250 or 300 of them in the world. When I tried to cross train over uh, from what I was doing into that, there were 340 people that applied to do that and there was two slots available. Uh, so I put everything together, I ended up fortunately getting one of those slots. So the last six years, five and a half years that I was in the Air Force, I was a survival instructor in the Air Force teaching air crew members um, how to survive. We lived in the woods with them for a straight week. We taught them things like, you know, how to build a fire, how to read a map, how to navigate, where to get water, where to get food, those kind of things. And then the last few days while we're in the field, we're teaching them evasion techniques. And then the last year that I was there, the last 14, 15 months that I did that, I uh, was an interrogator at the Air Force's prisoner war camp. Um, fascinating job. All of it, I really, really enjoyed, um, loved it, but at my 10 year mark, I had to make a decision whether I wanted to uh, continue the other 10 years, get my retirement, or to gamble on myself, get out, try to make more money. The whole thing was incredible, it just didn't pay very well. Uh, so I made the jump, decided to get out of the Air Force and strike out on my own. My uncle actually said, you know, I think you'd be really good in sales and you need to check out the insurance field. Uh, I've got a friend that does that. So I was kind of bouncing around and then uh, I ran across an ad in the newspaper in the Louisville, Kentucky Courier Journal that uh, said leads, leads, leads. And I had been selling a little bit up until that point, um, security systems, things like that. I couldn't find anybody to go see. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll look at this. If the company has people that they're providing for you, you know, I could probably make some money. And uh, I went and interviewed and uh, just fell in love with this company, everything about the company in Louisville, Kentucky. I started there in 1996 and I've uh, been doing it ever since.